Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you all came from one of my many favorite peddler malls that we have here in town. I spent probably about $130 with the hopes that I can make some money, and I have a feeling I definitely will. So this is the first item that I spotted when I went to the mall. It was $3. It's a statue. It's made out of like some kind of marble, not marble, but it's kind of like a bisky type finish like that scratchy material like chalkboard like ugh. and I believe this is Hercules and there's well there's there's Boutte in this statue but there's no private part well your Boutte is a private part but not the front parts um this is what it says on here Ercole Ilika and on the back oh there's no boobies on it either okay well that's good and here it says C. Ruggert and Rico D. No. Ricordo di Roma. And I looked this up on eBay, I think, when I was in the store, and I didn't see it right away, but I said for $3, I'm going to take a chance. And I came home, looked it up, and this is probably mid century era. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be keeping it or not because the goddess look is not really my thing. God and goddess look. Um, and one did sell for $40. Now, granted, mine is not in as great a shape. Uh, her toe is chipped and there is a slight chip in the stone right there. But that's not like really, really bad damage. So we will see what happens. I am going to clean it, of course, because it is a little filthy. I really like the image of this Country Inn fruit cake tin. I love the red and the white, and I just really like the green on here too. I'm very much a green and a blue lover, hence why my room is blue. But just look at the graphics of this fruitcake tin. It's just, it's very fun. It would be great to transition from winter to spring because of the bright colors. And even though red, I guess red is like an, well, it's not a summer color. It's a spring, fall, and a winter color, but you get the picture. It's just a nice piece. Isn't this just one of the cutest planters that you've ever seen? I believe this is, I don't know if this is a dachshund or, or like a border collie. Some long-haired dog. But it's really cute. I only paid two fifty dollars for it. And any dog lover out there is going to absolutely love this piece. For $6, I picked up two vintage Temperama, or Cannonware Temperama vegetable bowls. I felt that that was a really good price. If you've been following me for a while, I think right when we moved up here, not right after we moved up here, but like when I started thrifting after we moved and got rid of some things, I went to our Salvation Army and I found a whole set of this for like $15. I mean, gravy boat, the whole nine yards and I keep adding to it because it's just a fun set to collect. It's from 1961, like I mentioned, but it still has an atomic starburst look. Now what I would really like to find is the Franciscan starburst or the, did Catherine Hall make starburst too? No, it's Franciscan. I have North Star by Salem, and I have Temperama. I would love to find some Franciscan Starburst cheap, though. I know I'll find it at some point. But this was still a really good find at three bucks a piece. And the last larger item we're going to be taking a look at is probably my favorite, and I cannot wait to offer this up to you all at a live sale. It's this Art Deco handkerchiefs box, and it is, it's got handkerchiefs written. I think the letters are plastic. Now, as you can see, the F is broken on it, and I did notice that when I bought it. And it is a little dirty, so I might do a bit of touching up because it's a little bit dusty. Probably from an auction house or maybe just somebody's attic or like an estate sale or something like that. But I've never, ever seen anything like this before. And let's look at the interior, shall we? Before we check out the interior, look at that really nice intricate lock on here. Isn't that nice? So here's what the inside looks like. I did pay $8. I don't know if I said that or not. I can't remember. But of course I'm gonna vacuum it, maybe put some 
dryer sheets in here just to make it smell nice, but it's in overall really good shape. I mean, we've got some thread coming loose here, but even still, for eight bucks, I know somebody is gonna absolutely go gaga for this, especially if they collect old hankies. What a great box. Even the corners are very intricate and detailed. I forgot to mention that as well. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the larger items that I picked up. But I do want to let you know I'm saving the best for last, so you guys are going to see my two favorite and most extravagant purchases of everything I bought at this Peddler Mall. So this was a fun find. I'm not exactly sure what kind of dog it is. It almost looks like a Scotty or like a Scottish Terrier, but I don't know my dog breeds unless it's a Black Lab. He is marked Giftware Co. underneath that sticker. I guess I can just peel it for you guys. It's like in a bell shape, Nancy Pew, Japan. And it was $2.50. This booth was half off that day. So I was really, really happy to pick that up. That'll end up in a sale. I think I'm going to try to make this stuff that I'm sharing with you all today and possibly some stuff from Wednesday if I don't go over my amount. I'll make that my inventory for the next sale so I'm not showing a bunch of repeats. Just to make it interesting. I got this cute little girl here for $2.50, I believe. Yep, it was $2.50. And it's marked USA on the bottom. Really, really cute. It looks like she's holding a basket of flowers. She's not very big, but she is a pretty decent size. Also for two fifty, I got this one of a guy. It looks like he's calling for his gal. This one is also marked USA on the bottom, I think, or maybe it's not. I don't know, but anyway, it was two fifty, really good price. And when I get stuff for a really good price, I can pass it on to you all for a really good price. If I don't break it, paid four dollars for this one, uh, twenty percent off from this booth. And I think this is American Bisque or Royal Copley. Very, very cute. It would be great for spring, summer, fall, or even for wintertime. If you wanted to keep this out at Christmas, you could put a fake bottle brush tree in here. How neat would that be? So that was a really good find. And stuff keeps falling. Got another cute little girl vase. No, planter, sorry. She, I don't think, has any marks on her. She was $1.50. She's getting herself all dolled up for her date. She almost reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast, doesn't she? So she will be up for grabs very, very soon. Got myself a really cool Listerine bottle. It says Lambert Pharmacy, oh, Pharmacal Company. That's awesome, and we still use Listerine today, so to find an old bottle of it is really cool. Paid $2.95 for that. Now this is an old, old. Um, this is from, I think, 1998. 1996, okay. And there were a bunch of these in the series. I paid $2.70 for it. Some of these basic fun keychains from the 90s and early 2000s, if you can find them, some are worth some pretty good money. I can't remember exactly which one's off the top of my head, but I do, do know that there are some of them out there that are pretty collectible. So this one is of Barbie and Ken, which I've never seen before, so I'm happy to have this one in my collection. I found a footed Jeff Jeff egg. This one's got cherubs on it. It was marked Lefton Japan on the bottom. It's bisky, fired on, paint. It was $2.00. And that was a really good find. I found this glass here. It was $2.70. It's for Heinz tomato juice. And I just like the graphics of it. It would look, I think it's mainly, I guess it's for tomato juice, obviously, or Heinz products. But it would look good for like a glass of beer. I just really like the image of the top hatted guy on there. No markings to say who made it, but it is still a really nice piece of advertising, and I think it's from 1957. But I could be wrong. Now this was in a booth, and I really liked the color of it. I think it may have been like a party, like novelty item at some point. It was only 10 cents. That's going to go into my junk jar. 
because it's one of those items that's really fragile and I don't want anything to happen to it. So 10 cents is 10 cents. And I actually think it was cheaper than that. I think it was like 90 or 9 cents or something because it was on sale. <laughs> okay, and the last lot of items before I show you my two favorite and most extravagant purchases for this haul. If you saw the thumbnail, you already know what they are, but they're still fun to see up close. So I paid $2.50 for a peanut butter jar full of matchbooks. Now, I did pull out the ones that I'm keeping for myself, and then I'll be offering these all to you all. So let me go ahead and show those to you all real quick, shall we? Move them over here. So there were some Christmas ones in here. I like the image on that one. Happy Holidays. I got two of them, and there are multiples of this one, of People's Drugstore. We don't have them around here. Or at least I haven't seen one. I'm sure this drugstore is long gone, but I've heard of them. I know that Liz Retros has talked about this. I don't even... It's probably a long gone pharmacy. I We looked it up the other day. I can't remember. We got this one with the snowman on it, which I think is super, super fun. Season's Greetings. And that's for the trust company. We got this one with Santa Claus on it, very mid-century, with Rudolph. I really like this one. I like that image of that kid right there. It's from ABC, Mr. Delish, Coast to Coast, from the ABC Vending Corporation. Now, it isn't a full match book, but still cool enough to put in the junk jar. Okay, so that's everything small that I'd like to share with you all. Let me go ahead and show you on my two favorite and most extravagant purchases from this place. So the first of my two extravagant purchases of the day happens to be this really awesome fishtail logo starburst sign. I believe that this came off of a menu or off of a vending machine. The Coca-Cola fishtail logo, which to me looks like a surfboard, was out from 1958 to 1965. That's when the company used it. I would love to find a fishtail metal sign. I did find one at Marketplace of Lemoyne, but somebody had painted, like retouched up the the cursive lettering, and I didn't like that at all. And then I thought about it, and then I went back the next time, and it was gone. But that's just how it is sometimes. I'll find another one, and I probably will end up paying up for it, but that's just how it is. I did pay 20 bucks for this. I saw it in the booth, and I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's only $20. I was expecting it to be like 40 or 50 So that was a steal of a deal at 20 bucks, And it looks like somebody mounted it onto wood, so it's not going to be ruined. And let me let you all take a look at the intricate look of the Starburst. I love this piece. I will more than likely be hanging it with my Pam Coca-Cola clock that I have. And the last item we're going to be looking at tonight is this really awesome, cool cigarette ashtray, I believe. Because it's got holes on the bottom and it looks like somebody lined it with some paper just to... Uh, prevent any more damage. As you can see, it does have some rust on it, but it's still a, no pun intended, really cool piece. Now I did pay $40.50 for this, but I personally felt that that was worth it because I've seen other people try to charge up to 65 or $65 up to about $85. So that was a pretty good find on my part. And I really like that it has a place for match sales so you could buy a book of matches for a penny and i don't know if it's going to show up well or on here or not but it does say registered 1952. so that's just a really fun display um if you like tobacchiana or you have like a bunch of ephemera that's tobacchiana related or tobacco related you could display that in here i'm not selling it i like vintage advertising and when i can get it on the cheap when i say on the cheap i mean roughly forty dollars I will buy it because it is just so cool and they just don't make stuff like this anymore. 
So that is everything that I would like to share with you all today. Let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite item or favorite items I shared in this haul. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.